And we have an update now on our breaking news that locked in at a Philadelphia middle school. Let's get right to our David Spun. David, what do you know? Well, Jim, we found out that a toy gun was located behind a radiator here at Wagner Middle School. So obviously a student was right, did see some sort of gun when the school was on lockdown today. Police and SWAT searched for a while. I want to do a live interview right, right now with Christina Page. Christina, thanks for joining us. You said your son inside the school right now. Certainly a scary few hours for you. Tell me exactly what happened. Uh, I woke up this morning, was fixing breakfast. Um, I went in my room to turn the news on and the news was flying over top of the school and I'm like oh my god mom um, is something going on at school and we immediately came down here this morning trying to figure out what's going on they said they had the kids on the school on the floor since nine o'clock this morning and now they're about to release the kids saying that they found a toy gun and everything so are you happy with how police responded yes, to this scene I'm, I'm very happy and I'm happy to have they releasing the kids out I need my son with me so I can take him home with me I don't know what I'm going to do by Monday morning about this him sending him to school because I'm scared to send him to school now. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Christina Page, thank you very much. I'm so glad that your son is okay. Um, uh, Jim and Rahel, a lot of parents concerned because a robocall actually did go out to the parents, but you have to remember this happened a little after 8 30 this morning. That robocall didn't go out till approximately 10 51 this morning, for, so almost two and a half hours later. So a lot of parents concerned about that. No injuries, no real gun, no shots fired, but again, a toy gun. And authorities say the gun appeared to look like a real gun, so they could understand how that mix-up happened. That's where we are right now at Wagner Middle School. Reporting live, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, David, thank you. A toy gun, but prompting a very real police response. Have thank you.